Good afternoon. My name is Mara Clark, and I oversee recruiting for our Vanderbilt uh, MS Finance program, one year accelerated master's here at Vanderbilt. And Adina Friedman is with us here today. She's a graduate of our MBA program. And I'm going to be uh, asking her some questions about advice for our incoming students and uh, getting her, her wisdom about how she's navigated her career. Um, so sure. thank you again for being with us today. I sure. know it's been a long day of graduation activities and we've been very lucky to have you here. Absolutely. Um, I would love to start off uh, kind of thinking back to your, your message that you shared with our graduates this morning. You had some great points for them. Um, maybe highlight a few of those and, and what would you tell candidates who are exploring uh, business school programs? Sure. Well, I think the first thing is I had five points that yes. I made this morning. So I think that the, the first one is to make sure that you always think about being optimistic when you walk into any situation, thinking about the future and focusing on the future. The second is to make sure that you communicate well yeah. and focus on communications because in the business world, you can't get all of your points across in 140 characters. <laughs> you really need, need to think about how you are, develop and articulate arguments in writing and in person. Okay. The third is to make sure that you focus on um, um, listening and learning. Never stop listening and learning to your customers, to to the world around you, so that you can bring all of that into the company and continuously move forward. Work well with others. That's a natural yes. for Owen graduates because yes. there's so much group work we do here at, at Owen. Yes. But it is an, an incredibly important part of the work life at, in a, any company. And then lastly, focus on execution. You can do all of those other things and have a great personality, but you do need to drive to results as well. Fantastic. Thank you. Sure. Um, many of our students who are coming from what we call our career launchers program, so MS Finance, Masters in Accounting, Masters in Marketing, they will be entering the workforce um, in, in their first job right out of mm -hmm. school. What advice do you have for someone who's entering their, their first position postgraduate school? Sure. Well, actually, I was I ended up going straight through yes. from college to business school. So mm -hmm. my job, my first day at NASDAQ was my first day <laughs> on a permanent job. Um, and it, I think the first thing is make sure you say you have an open mind. Mm -hmm. I walked in with a defined role, but my role changed quickly. And when my when my manager said, well, would you be willing to do this? So I came in to write business plans at some point. He said, would you mind doing the budget for me this year? And the answer is yes, I would be, I would be very, I wouldn't know. The answer is no, I would not mind or yes, I would do it because it's, it's a great opportunity for me to learn a new skill and for me to be able to expand what I was, my contribution to the company. You don't want to look at it and say, well, that wasn't what my job said it was going to be. Yes. No, of course, go do it and try something new. So the power of yes is an important thing early in your career. Fantastic. In that same vein, what do you look for in new hires when you're hiring at NASDAQ? Well, I think a big part of it is making sure that they can work well with others. Mm -hmm. And that is really, really important. Um, making sure that you can see them as a, con a, a contributor to a team, someone who can make the team um, do better than without them, right? right? And also making sure that they are focused on accomplishment, execution. Mm -hmm. So what do they do in their career to show that they're ready to take on a new challenge and ex execute against it? Um, so personality is very important but also the ability to execute is very important. Yeah, wonderful, thank you. If we switch gears a little bit, uh, we just came from a meeting with some students where I think you had a number of questions from our women students um, about work-life balance and, and the idea of having it all, you addressed that mm -hmm. very well. Um, thinking about women coming out of graduate business school, what do you think are some exciting opportunities for women specifically who are launching into the job market? Well, I don't think you should look at it as really women or men. There are yeah. just a lot of great opportunities out there, and women are just as qualified and capable of doing any of those opportunities as men are. So <laughs> just go find something yeah. that you're passionate about. And it really is important that you do find your passion because it will be what drives you. Life gets very messy and it gets very complicated. But if you love what you do, you'll find a path forward to navigate through it yeah. and you'll give you the strength and the energy to get yourself through it, even when life is, you know, got a lot throwing a lot at you. Mm -hmm. If you're really, if you're not passionate about what you do, it's easy for you to say, you know what, I think mm -hmm. I'm just gonna take a pause. Mm -hmm. So if you you know, that's I think always the the challenge that I think women have more than men about that, that idea of taking that pause. Yes. My strong recommendation would be find a way through it, mm -hmm. um, but also find something you're passionate about doing because it'll help you a lot. Great. Could you talk a little bit about uh, how do you stay engaged with the Vanderbilt community? Why is it important for you to be back here on campus to see students today? Well, Vanderbilt was a wonderful place for me. Um, it really taught me great skills 
hard skills mm -hmm. like marketing and finance and operations, but it also taught me a lot of soft skills about teamwork and making and management and leadership. And I also I I had so much fun here. I mean, I really did. It was really <laughs> Thursday a great evenings. Too. Everyone loves I, exactly. Thursday nights. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. The closing bell. <laughs> yeah. But I also just I found the two years here were just so fun. And so of course I'd love to come back and make sure that I give a chance for other students that are going through it to I can learn from them and they can learn from me. That's great. In financial services, um, what has been something that you've enjoyed the most about the industry and what's something that you've struggled with or had to navigate? Sure. Well, first of all, I'd say financial services is the eternal learning curve. <laughs> you know, the industry is very fast paced and it's and it's shifting all the time. So that you never stop learning in the financial services industry. And certainly market structure, which is the area that we focus on, is incredibly complex, but also incredibly fascinating. And so again, it's that eternal learning curve because you can literally never get bored if you go into a market structure type of role. Yeah. Um, so that's the that's the best part about the financial services industry, the pace and and um, the fact that you're always a student. The hardest part about it is just the, I mean, there is, again, the pace is very fast. Yes. So you have to be ready to commit yourself to that pace. Mm -hmm. And luckily, since I am passionate about what we do at NASDAQ, truly, I really am, that we you know we really do help create jobs by being the center of, um, of the capital markets. I can, I can, you know, in those times when your life gets busy, that passion really drives me to make sure that I maintain the pace. But the pace is important to, for you to you know, step in knowing you've got a big, uh, fast pace. Great, wonderful. My last mm -hmm. question, again, is from a conversation earlier today with some students. Um, I enjoyed how you said someone had said the idea of having it all, and I believe you said it's how you define all. Yes. Um, how do you define all? Well, I'm, uh, I do feel that I've been fortunate enough to be able to have it all because I have an amazing marriage and I mean, my husband's one of the most amazing people in the world <laughs> and I have um, wonderful children and they're now grow growing up and they're in college and it's just been an incredible experience of raising them and, and uh, being their parent. But then I also have a great job. So um, to me, that's, that's having it all. Now, to other people, they mm -hmm. would see that and say, well, you haven't been able to do enough in the community. And that's true. I mm -hmm. do feel that I have not yet been able to contribute to the community as much as I'd like. But now that the kids are in college and I still have a long runway, it allows me then to start to say, well, how would I be able to contribute to the community over time as I season in my role as CEO? Wonderful. Thank you so much, Adina. I appreciate you being here today. Thank you. Thank you.